Okay, everybody. I am definitely feeling very like safari vibes today, which is a-okay with me. So as always, I have my something to drink. No Diet Coke today, I'm all out. Just good old fashioned H2O. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump on in. I have three bags. I have one small bag and I have ooh, two of the granddaddy bags. So um, in my granddaddy bags, that's where I have my candles. So I have all my skincare and all that fun stuff in this bag. So I'm just gonna put it here on my lap. And to start, I got some room plugins. I love these. I have a, I have one plug-in downstairs and I have one plug-in here upstairs. I'm super weird. I like to have coordinating scents through my entire house. So um, the scents I have, I have a Tuscan herb and I have a lemon mint leaf. And oh no, this one doesn't have a tag. Oh wait. And another Tuscan herb. This one I think is like a, this is like, a, oh, this is a, like a green tea sage scent. So these are my wall plugins that I have. And for Corey, I picked up, he really enjoys the men's um, body wash. And, you know, I think it smells really nice. He really likes it, you know, especially, you know, he gets really sweaty at work underneath his um, vest that he has to wear. So the three scents that I got him, he has fresh water, which this has notes of Italian bergamot, uh, mountain spring water, and oak moss. And this is a new one that I've never seen this one at Bath and Body Works. It smells just really crisp and clean, so I thought this would be really good, nice for him for summertime. Men's Ocean, this is the one that he uses year long. He loves it, it's his favorite. Um, and the key notes in this one, oh, this one doesn't have the key notes. It smells very nice really nice it smells very it's this is more of like a perfumed like a cologne scent than the fresh water but yeah it just it smells this one to me smells really clean so I really like it and then he has graphite and this one has sage bergamot spice and leather woods this is very to me the smell is very masculine like this these two I could get away with, like if I needed to wash my body and I ran out of body wash, I could use these. This one smells very masculine. I probably wouldn't use this unless I was like not going anywhere because it would, honestly, to me, it would smell like I have cologne on and I don't want to smell like a guy. I want my husband to smell nice. But I don't want to smell like a guy. Next, I got this white jasmine. I love jasmine. I'm not huge on floral, scent, floral scents. But the floral scents that I enjoy are jasmine, gardenia, lavender, and rose. If it's not too strong and anything jasmine, I I love it. I think jasmine is probably, to me, one of the most feminine scents that is out there. Like, I think jasmine, I think of girly, delicate, light airy it's just and I mean the flowers are beautiful I have jasmine flowers in my backyard along my fence and I love it so next are the body washes that I got for myself I actually got four okay yes I got four Corey always I always buy him is in like groups of three and so he actually has like three lotion sets I have like a little stockpile in our stockpile so that's why he only got three but for mine I got almond blossom um, energy, stress relief, and desert wild, wildflower, which I've been using. So I'll go ahead and I'll start with this one. I think this desert wildflower might be one of my new favorite scents that Bath & Body Works has ever had. This, to me, oh my, this smells clean. It smells florally. It smells like woodsy this to me smells very just like sensual and like I've said before I do care for more like sensual like the cuddle sense um basically um so this has keynotes of wildflower gen blended with jasmine which you definitely get that like delicate feminine jasmine note which I really really like as well as sandalwood which again sandalwood for like female musk scents is one of my personal favorites my as far as like female musk I like sandalwood um vanilla and I really enjoy amber um a lot of people hate amber for me it I love it and so I'm like a weirdo you know in that respect but 
I love this. I also got the Desert Wildflowers candle. And I can't wait to burn it in my house because it's going to make my house smell so pretty. Um, next is stress, stress Relief. This is Sage and Cedarwood. And it just smells very clean. Like, I'm like squeezing like, mm, what do I smell? Um, it's not a very strong scent. This to me is if you're, if you are like sensitive to smells, I would do something that has like sage in it or something that's going to really wear very lightly throughout the day. And I feel scents like eucalyptus and sage, you know, are very light and airy scents. So this one would be really good. I also will use this like if I shower after like a long day at work or if I've just had like a long day in general, like I'll use this in the shower and it really does that sage just like it's almost like the essential oils because this does have um, natural body wash with essential oil. So it's that sage essential oil just really helps to like open up, you know, it just helps me honestly just like open up and to like decompress. And so that's why I got this one. Um, oh, my hair is wonky. Next aromatherapy um, that I got is energy and this is orange and ginger. And this is, I got this for the mornings where I'm like totally lagging. <laughs> And I'm like super sleepy because citrus is a natural like awakener. And so um, I figured what better than orange. And then ginger is just an all around like good for you scent. It's a, I mean, ginger is like a super food. So I thought the two together would be really nice. I've never used this, so I don't know how it smells in the shower. I also have never used this one in the shower, so I don't know how this one smells either. Um, I have used the stress relief where it was the like eucalyptus spearmint one. That one, I really only use that on like my arms and my legs because if I get it anywhere else, it's gonna not feel so nice. So, you know, I haven't tried these, but the smells, I smelled really nice in the store, so I thought I would give them a go. And last um, the item that I got for myself is the almond blossom and the notes are sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk. So, this is a very like heavily like muskier body wash which I don't think a lot of people would care for like if you like floral you're not going to like this at all if you like floral you're going to love this if you like musk you're going to really enjoy this if you like musk sensual cuddle like I just want to curl up with a book in front of a fire you know after I've gotten out of the shower this is going to be that body wash for you. A very, very faint. See, I don't smell. I smell very faint, little bit of almond at the very end, but the initial scent is that musk. It's like boom, musk. So this one, if you're, if you are very sensitive to, to fragrance or to perfumes, you're, you might not like this one. Um, but again, I mean, it's warm and cozy is would be your vibe. And this one is intriguing and woody. So this is more awakening. This is, you know, use this one. This is one you'd use in the morning. Whereas this one might be one that you use before bed. Or if you're just going to kind of like have a super chill day at home. Um, Next thing that I got is I got two of these. I have one downstairs and I have this one up here. Um, it's these fresh cotton. These are just scented room sprays. And it literally, it's like a super nice like boom, mist. But... This smells like the bounce dryer sheets. If you know, like just a good naturally cottony scented dryer sheet, that's what this smells like. I love this, I clean my entire house. Oh, now it smells like cotton all in here. I'll clean my downstairs and then I just quickly like do a quick spray on all of my furniture. I'll just go ch -ch -ch on um, the recliner our, and then our two couches. And I also do a, scent, a spray of this on my dog Linus's dog bed, and it really helps just keep the room smelling very fresh and clean for at least I would say like two three days. Um, so yeah, so I tip, I'll spray this on like Sunday before I go to bed, and then I don't spray it again till like Wednesday before I go to bed. And so yeah, this I'm really excited about. This is my first time I've tried it, and so far so good. I'm really enjoying it. Next order of business, I got hand soaps because you know Bath and Body Works has it. What is it like the, the five for twenty three or like six for thirty five or something like that? Like hand soaps or whatever. I don't know. I was probably way off on the price, but it is what it is. Um, I got rose water and ivy. 
this is a very heavy scent of rose so um, you know if you're not really into rose you might not really care for this so it's soft rose petal rain kiss ivy and spring musk next is cucumber lily I actually got this on clearance because this is one of their scents for summer and it smells so pretty it's just cucumber green tea and lily I love green tea um, I love to drink green tea I love the scent of green tea I think green tea is a very um, it's a very like muted smell and so it's a smell that I feel you know a lot of people can can vibe with and so this cucumber lily this is a soap I have another one downstairs this is a soap that I have downstairs because you know when we have guests or when we have company they use our downstairs bathroom and so I have this down there so if anyone that washes their hands is sensitive to smell they're not gonna like be gagging because of this next is eucalyptus mint this is a staple in my house I love it if you haven't tried it go get it that's all I'm gonna say the bomb um, warm vanilla sugar again warm vanilla sugar was my or it's I don't know I think warm vanilla sugar has been replaced with desert wild wildflower as far as my favorite smells I love warm vanilla sugar this is like the it's probably the most basic scent that they have at Bath and Body Works but I love it I love vanilla vanilla is probably my all-time favorite scent and so I really enjoy this. I'm going to keep hold on to this one and put it out more towards fall because I don't really think this is a scent that's very appropriate for summertime. But like I said, it's probably been replaced with Desert Wildflower. Um, next is Kitchen Lemon. I only put this soap in my kitchen. Yes, I am like that. I have my kitchen soaps and I have my bath soaps and then I have my soaps that can go like either way you know they'll they they work in the kitchen they'll work in the bathroom you know in a guest bathroom um my you know mine and Corey's bathroom cruise bathroom kitchen lemon i only use in the bathroom this is my husband's favorite smelling um hand soap this one and the eucalyptus mint so i always make sure that i have this and eucalyptus mint on deck all the time and last but not least is coconut eucalyptus. This was a new scent to me at least at Bath & Body Works. Um, this has notes of creamy coconut eucalyptus and blue sage. Again, we see the sage. So this is, I'm assuming, is going to be a very like light and airy. I can't open it. Um, very faint bit of coconut. Coconut to me is like hit or miss. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, I like coconut. And other times I'm like, in little doses please because too much coconut I'm like it's like it just kind of like just doesn't vibe with me um so this I'm excited to try we'll see it I don't know so those are all everything as far as like body care and like skin care related my next bit is going to be my candles and I have a lot like I said I have my granddaddy bags so let me get these all out so they had at Bath and Body Works when I went to go buy these they had these like the small um what size are these the seven ounce candles they had buy or uh, two for eighteen dollars so like nine yeah nine dollars a piece because they they regularly retail for if you can see that fourteen fifty. so the four cents I got is Comfort, which is van vanilla patchouli, lavender vanilla, eucalyptus mint, um, rain, and endless weekend. I have these three. I'm sorry, these two I've talked about before in previous video in a previous um, Bath and Body Works haul. I really like these scents. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, I will have that video linked down in the description bar if you want to know more about these two scents. But Comfort. This candle I only put in mine and Corey's bedroom. I'll light it, you know, after I clean. Um, and it's just, it's a very, just like soothing scent. I really enjoy it. Lavender Vanilla. This is a great candle for anywhere in the home. I would typically use this in areas where, you know, the families, the family spends a majority of the time or where you might spend a majority of your time. Um, it smells very clean with that lavender, but also is very comforting with that vanilla so those are these two 
These two scents though are new to me, so I'll go into a little more detail. This is Endless Weekend, and these oh also these are all made with essential oils, and these are by the White Barn, um, the Bath and Body Works White Barn. So for Endless Weekend, this has the fragrance fragrance notes are summer mandarin, sunkissed magnolia, and coconut water. I love, I like the scent of magnolia as well. I love the name magnolia. So I always tell Corey if we have a girl, magnolia is definitely a name that's going to be talked about. This smells very summery. Um, I would not put this in a bedroom. This would be good in like a kitchen or a bathroom because it, to me it's a much stronger scent. You definitely get that citrus. That's why I say not, don't put it in. I believe there's certain scents that don't go with like a living, like a bedroom environment. And to me, citrus is one of them. You know, but if you think citrus belongs in a bedroom, hey, do you boo, to each their own. But yeah, this smells really clean. Not clean, oh my God, what am I saying? It's hot. It's so hot in the room that I film it, it's insane. But, it's a complete different topic. Yeah, this definitely smells very citrusy and very floral. This is very floral and citrus heavy. So if you're sensitive to smells, you might not want to try. You might not want to get this because it might be too strong for you. If you're somebody that stresses out 24-7 like me, hi, hi, yes, hi. I stress out 24-7. If you all can see, that's called stress. That's actually... These are all, they all have a name. Their names are Corey and Crew. But with that being said, if you're somebody that you find yourself being more like high strung, high stress, or your nerves are constantly going, then burning a candle with eucalyptus is going to really help naturally make you go and like just drop your shoulders and like do this. Eucalyptus to me is very like spa-esque. Um, it's going to give you a very calming environment, very calm vibe. It's going to make you want to turn on like Sade radio or, you know, like Kali, Kali or was it Kali radio? It's my favorite on Pandora. But, you know, and just like take a hot second for yourself. Eucalyptus is great. And I personally believe eucalyptus is great in like a bedroom because if you're stressed out, you want your room to be a place that is like very calm for you. So you can do that, you know, eucalyptus in a bedroom. Eucalyptus can does no wrong in a bathroom. You can put it in a bathroom and it just will do just fine. Kitchen works great. Um, I actually have a candle burner in my classroom. I'm sorry, a hot plate. And I melt candles. And I always melt either a lavender scented candle or a eucalyptus scented candle. Since I teach special ed, a lot of times my students are very like high strung and you know have are on the more energetic side. And I want my room to be a place where they can just kind of like mellow out and you know we can get to work and it's not high stress. I also have students though that they, you know, need us. Don't, I don't want to have a crazy scent because it's going to distract them. And, and eucalyptus, I have found those two scents, eucalyptus and lavender, I have found personally work best for kids that have a very quick attention span. So with that being said, eucalyptus mint rain, this smells so, it's not heavily fragranced. It just smells so good. Like, it just smells so stinking good. Like, I just, I can't, like... I actually think this candle I might take to my classroom, to be honest with you, because it smells so dang good. This candle, it just, if you want to give eucalyptus a go and you've never burned a eucalyptus candle, the stress relief candle at Bath & Body Works, I love. However, it is so heavily fragranced with eucalyptus. It sometimes can be like, ooh, ooh, eucalyptus, and it almost like smacks you in the face. Try this one because the mint is gonna really help cut that eucalyptus, that like strong eucalyptus scent. And so if you're if you're more sensitive to smells, I would try this, it will work for you. All right, next bag, I'm not even gonna pick up because I have two, four, six, I have seven three wick candles in there. I came home and I had to like sneak the bags inside because my husband was like, oh, did you go to Bath Water? So I was like, yeah, babe, I just got like some body soaps. And he goes, oh, you did, you get candles? And I'm like, yeah. And one candle I got is actually downstairs and it's pineapple mango. I love it, it smells like summer. My husband 
is like so stoked. Corey is like, he's like, this is my favorite candle smell that you've ever gotten of all time. And I'm like, really? Because you say that by about a lot of candles. But pineapple mango, it's great. So that one, it's downstairs. So first one is lemon mint leaf. Lemony, minty, has a very small hint of like greenery, like fresh cut grass vibe. So this is only though a kitchen smell. Only, I will only put this in my kitchen. I will only put this in an area where we will mainly be entertaining guests. This is a candle I will only burn if I have cleaned or if we're having company over. I won't burn this just if it's like me, Corey, you know, crew just chilling at home or if I'm by myself, I won't burn this because it's so, so dang strong. Next candle is, oh, this is the one I actually got to go in my classroom. It's called Mermaid Life. I always say, if I could be any like mythical creature, I would be a mermaid. Mermaids are hands down my favorite. Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney movie of all time. But that's besides the point. So this one is Coastal Waves Sparkling Bergamot, which Bergamot is that one of those like more cuddle smells, like laid back vibe type of smells and sun drenched musk. So again, another like laid back vibe. This one to me smells very, um, almost like a laundry detergent-esque type vibe. Yeah just smells very clean and you know sorry I'm back to work here on August 8th everybody and you know some of those kids have PE and some we haven't met deodorant for some of those kids and so I need something that's going to be very, smelling very nicely and so I think this is going to be very nice this bad these two buddies are going to go to my classroom this will be burning after lunch when it gets really really hot and this will be my morning time candle because I know some of my students watch my channel. You all know that there's different smells at different times of the day. There's why. All right. Next, I got a big size in comfort because comfort is the candle that I prefer to burn in my bedroom. So there's that. Oh yes, eucalyptus rain. If you all can see a trend in the eucalyptus department, because I want things to be zen. I want to have a zen, calm, quiet, soothing environment. And it is so important to me that crew be in a home that's like super calm and zen. So I keep like messing with my hair. I tried something new today and I'm like, don't know if I like it or not. Let me know in the comments below if you like my hair today. Anyways, this just smells clean. Very, very, very clean. Like after you clean the house, or even after you like do the floors, burn this and it'll be good. So this has notes of aromatic eucalyptus, spearmint leaves, fresh spring rain, obviously with essential oils. So you get the a very light bit of eucalyptus, but you more or less get that rain, that like watered scent. So yeah, and it's not like a, a dirty water, it's like a clean water smell, so which is really nice. And you know, if I love the Desert Wildflowers ba or body wash, you know I got my happy self looking through the store for a candle. And I did. Uh, uh, I did. Uh, uh, I did. <sighs> yes, please. Thank you. Oh my God, it smells so damn good. So good. Pink Lady Apples, yes. Jasmine Petals, yes. Fresh Violet. Violet is actually a scent I'm like, I can take a leave it, but since it's the last note, it's one of the weakest notes in the candle. I don't smell it. I smell the, the uh, I definitely smell the apples and I smell the jasmine. The violet might only be a scent that I, you have to burn the candle to get that. I don't know. We'll see. And let's see. I got an Endless Weekend. In the big size candle because I I liked how it smelled in the smaller size so I got it one in the larger size this it just smells really nice but this these two even though you know they they literally smell the same to me I don't smell much of a difference um, and 
Last but not least, I got a limoncello. If you have never burned a limoncello candle in your kitchen, pause the video, go to your Bath Body Works, go get a limoncello candle, and you'll thank me later. That's all I'm gonna say, you'll thank me later. It smells, this, this with the kitchen lemon is kitchen. These, of all my candles, the two that I'm like, these are only for the kitchen, lemon mint leaf and lemon cello. To me, lemon and kitchen go hand in hand and they just, it's clean. It's like, oh, welcome to my home. Do you smell my lemon scented candle burning in my kitchen that I just cleaned? That's how I feel when I burn a lemon candle. I feel like I am on top of the world when I burn a lemon candle, scented candle in my kitchen. So yeah, you guys, okay, that was my entire haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please, I would love to know what candles, you know, or what scents you're totally vibing with. Um, from Bath & Body Works down below in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will also have my Instagram in the description bar. It is Sarah K. Kramer, and I would love if you would give me a follow on there. I'm super, super active on my Instagram. And yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.